Welcome to another math prom of the week. Do you like numbers? Let's talk about it. Given that 9 over 13 less than a over b less than 7 over 10, where a, b are positive integer, and b is the minimum. What is the remainder when b is divided by 4? Obviously, the answer can be only a, 0, b, 1, c, 2, and d, 3. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Among the answer that I received, quite a big portion say that the answer is equal to A. That is, B is a multiple of 4. And the reason is very simple. This is 90 over 130 and this is 91 over 130. Now they have the same denominator but denominator is 90 and 91. There's no integer in between 90 and 91 and they have to multiply with 2. So this is 180 over 260. This is 182 over 260. A over B. And they claim that A is equal to 181 and B equals to 260. And therefore, B is a multiple of 4. Now, of course, A equals to 181 and B equals to 260 is one of the possible values for A over B. But in this case, B is not minimum. In fact, B can be a lot more smaller than 260. I'm going to provide a few methods to get the value of b. From the inequality, we know that 9b less than 13a and 10a less than 7b. Therefore, 13a minus 9b greater than 0 and 7b minus 10a is also greater than 0. And now, we let this to be equal to x and this to be equal to y. Say so this is equation 1, equation 2, equation 1 times 7 plus equation 2 times 9. So 7x plus 9y. The reason of doing this is to eliminate b. This will be 13a times 7 minus 10a times 9. And this will give me a. So a equals to 7x plus 9y. So 10x plus 13y. Likewise, in this case, we want to eliminate a. So this is negative 9b times 10 plus 7b times 13. This is negative 90. This is 91. So this is b. Now, x is positive and y is positive. And because a and b are positive integer, so x must be at least equal to 1. y has to be at least equal to 1. Therefore, a must be at least equal to 16 and b must be at least equal to 23. And the equality holds if and only if x equals to y equals to 1. Uh, we can do a simple checking that the equality here is indeed true. And from here, b is actually equal to 23 and it is minimum. And therefore, b is congruent to 1 mod 4. So this is the method 1. For another method that we are going to do here is we will see there's an interesting result let's say p over q less than r over s where p q r s are positive then we will see that p over q minus p plus r q plus s will be equals to q q plus s and for this this is p 
Q plus PS minus uh, PQ plus RQ. PQ minus PQ cancel off. PS, PS minus RQ. This is R, R plus S. PS minus RQ over Q, Q plus S. And PS minus RQ from here, it will be a negative value. And this will mean that P over Q is less than P plus R, Q plus S. Okay? And you can also consider R over S minus P plus R, Q plus S. And doing a bit of calculation, this is positive. Now we know that P plus R over Q plus S always in between um, these two fraction if PQRS are positive. So from here, we know that, let me continue here, 9 over 13 and 7 over 10. The number in between it is 16 over 23. This is, this must be the number in between these two fraction. And you will see that the denominator is not very big. However, we do not know 23 is the smallest denominator. Nevertheless, it gives me a better idea of the fraction A over B. Now, let us look at other people's solution. for today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.